about 30% of people have one or more budgeting apps on their phone. Chances are, if it's not the right one for you, you're probably not using it and it's probably not saving you money. Today, we're gonna to talk about Zeta, an app for couples. Nice. Comment down below and let us know who spends more money, you or your partner, and then we'll flame them. We'll put some heat on them. <laughs> Just let us know. So we're gonna dive right into the Zeta app and we're gonna look at the interface, see how pretty it is, and we'll talk about all the features that it has as we do that. All right, first thing, just like a lot of these other apps, you have these little notifications here. Get rid of those, we don't like those. All caught up, boom, there we go. So next thing you do is you just come to your cash flow. Uh, you look at your income, your expenses, and your savings. Pretty simple there. Upcoming bills and my tasks. I need to review my bills and categorize my transactions. Then you can go to your budgets. Cool thing is they do personal and shared budgets because it is a budgeting app for couples. Um, it's, it's about those couples who may not want to share their bank information with each other, keep them separate, but this app allows them to be equal and to look like they're in the same place. You can look at all your recent transactions. Um, they, sa they save on your bills. You can look at their partners that they've partnered up with and see if they can save you any money. So you can look at your checking account, your savings account, and your credit cards. Okay, and they've also, I should go, they also got this net worth, which is kind of cool, together and separately. We'll just, uh, 12 million, <laughs> no biggie. Look at that. Um, then we go to this sidebar here. You can look at these Zeta cards. It's a separate bank account that you both get a card for and it pulls money into there and you share that money. You can save with that money and pay for purchases with that money. Really cool. Then you've got your budget. Very simple here, it just kind of goes around here how much you spent, how much you've earned, and compares that against each other. You can look at a personal budget or you can look at a shared budget. So, next thing is your memos. This is kind of cool, you can write a memo for what you bought. All of a sudden there's like a purchase from a certain company and my wife can say, hey, what was this for? I'll do at knife. <laughs> at massage. At massage. Tasks, we kind of went over that. You kind of have this sidebar here. We'll keep going through this. Splits are kind of cool. You can split transactions. So you go to a really fancy restaurant. You bought a burger. She, she bought a New York steak and you both had to pay money for it. You just split your portion of it. No big deal there. And goals, you can set goals. So you can set up a goal for a vacation. Cool thing is, is I can say, hey, Brayden, I do not want you to see this, or you can't see this. So there you go, set up your goals that way. You can see a quick overview on accounts. You can do all your accounts together. You can do a personal or your shared account, or I can see my wife's account. No hiding from me. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got your cash flow here, kind of like at the, the main screen, what you see, and just the percentage of things that you're spending on your different transactions. You can review them and categorize them. And there you go, that is it. That is beautiful. Isn't that She's pretty? She's pretty. You got a nice hourglass shape, I don't know. She's pretty. <laughs> so it's that time of the video where we go over the good, the bad, the great, the ugly, all the good stuff. So as far as, as, far as accountability, Zeta does a decent job. It's not very good at keeping you accountable for your spending. It's more of a report card type of thing. There's a really cool thing with Zeta that shows you your calendar and how much money you spend and when your bills are due or when you're getting paid. That's one other thing that I really like about Zeta. For the goals and budgeting section, the goals are good. It's really nice to set up a goal. Yeah. The budgeting part is kind of bare bones. It's not, I mean, it's got your budget and it has how much you spent. It's not as easy to look at specific categories and things like that, but it is cool that you can have separate budgets and shared budgets. That is nice. As far as your time saving, it's okay. I'd say it's okay. It doesn't save you a whole bunch of time. Doesn't do much with that, but I mean. Yeah, the calendar is kind of nice to get a quick overview, but it doesn't necessarily save you time on looking at your finances or things like that. The interface, as you kind of saw, there's, there's bars at the bottom and from the side, and there's a whole bunch of different things. Some of them are repetitive. It just takes a little bit to get used to. There are better apps at kind of organizing things, but it's okay. I mean, yeah. you do a good, you figure it out pretty quickly. You do what you can. It's like a learning curve. Like just when you get married, you meet someone, it's a learning curve getting to know them. It's a learning curve using this couples app. 
That's a beautiful analogy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Couples that are getting married, it's perfect. Same thing. Except you don't have to be married to use Zeta. You、oh. can be a non-traditional. You can be anything you want and still use Zeta together. What happens if like I'm dating my girlfriend and we like break up? Then like all the money's already together. It is together, but they have thought of this. They have a breakup feature. <laughs> money's separated, no problem. One button, you're done. <laughs> it's really good at combining both partners' accounts. So makes it very simple to look at you separately or together. Last thing is Zeta is free. There is there are no fees associated with having Zeta, having that savings account, having their cards, or anything like that. And as you know, we're all about free stuff. Amen, brother. Well, guys, if you like this video, make sure to comment, subscribe. Remember to make sure make sure to comment who in your relationship is the biggest spender, and who in the relationship wakes up and checks their bank account. First thing they do before they check social media, <laughs> they wake up and they check their bank account. Their Ask Zita account. Make sure to comment that person. And if you found any value in this, make sure to subscribe.、We've、Smash the like. Sweet content coming up. Sure do.